In the Buddhist philosophical thought, Nichiren Daishonin's teachings stand as a vibrant and profound thread, intricately woven with insights that resonate across centuries. At the core of this multifaceted tradition lies a profound emphasis on the inherent dignity of human life and the unwavering belief in the universal potential for enlightenment. Nichiren's teachings draw upon the philosophical tenets of the Lotus Sutra, a revered Mahayana Buddhist scripture, imbuing them with a singular intensity and urgency. One of the central concepts that permeates Nichiren's teachings is the principle of Myoho Renge Kyo, a Japanese rendering of the title of the Lotus Sutra. This phrase is not merely a name but a profound declaration of the inherent enlightenment within all beings. As Nichiren Daishonin eloquently expressed, Myoho Renge Kyo is the ultimate reality of all phenomena and the life of the Buddha's infinite truth. This notion of the Buddha nature residing within each individual is a cornerstone of Nichiren's philosophy, inspiring a profound reverence for human life and a steadfast belief in the capacity for personal transformation. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings also underscore the profound interconnectedness of all existence, a principle embodied in the concept of Esho Funi. This phrase, translating to the oneness of life and its environment, encapsulates the idea that individual beings are intrinsically linked to their surroundings and that the transformation of one's inner state can profoundly impact the external world. In his seminal work, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren Daishonin expounds, if the heart is pure, the land will be pure. This notion of the interdependence between the individual and the environment resonates deeply with contemporary ecological concerns, inviting a holistic approach to personal growth and environmental stewardship. Nichiren's teachings place a strong emphasis on the power of faith and practice, embodied in the concept of Daimoku. This term refers to the recitation of the phrase Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, which Nichiren regarded as the essence of the Lotus Sutra and a means to tap into the inherent enlightenment within. As Nichiren Daishonin proclaimed, the Dai Moku alone is the great purifier of the phenomenal world and the ultimate truth. This practice is not merely a ritualistic act but a profound affirmation of one's innate Buddhahood and a catalyst for personal transformation. Woven throughout Nichiren's teachings is a steadfast commitment to the principle of Shikubuku, which translates to break and subdue. This concept underscores the necessity of courageous and unwavering propagation of the Lotus Sutra's teachings even in the face of adversity or persecution. Nichiren Daishonin's unwavering determination to uphold and disseminate the Lotus Sutra's teachings, even at the cost of his own life, is a testament to the depth of his conviction and the urgency he placed on this principle. In the words of Daisaku Ikeda, Nichiren's life demonstrates the indivisible unity of faith and practice, revealing the supreme truth that our lives, when imbued with the philosophy of the Lotus Sutra, can shine with the brilliance of a magnificent sun. This sentiment encapsulates the profound synergy between belief and action that lies at the heart of Nichiren's teachings, inspiring generations of adherents to embody their faith through determined practice and unwavering conviction. Throughout his writings, Nichiren Daishonin consistently emphasized the universality of the Lotus Sutra's teachings, transcending the boundaries of race, gender, or social status. In his treatise, the Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, he proclaimed, the Lotus Sutra is the seed of Buddhahood inherent in all living beings. This inclusive vision resonates profoundly in our modern era, inviting individuals from all walks of life to embrace the transformative power of Nichiren's teachings and strive towards the realization of their inherent enlightenment. As we navigate the complexities of the contemporary world, Nichiren's teachings offer a profound wellspring of wisdom and guidance. The emphasis on the inherent dignity of human life, the interconnectedness of existence, the power of faith and practice, the unwavering commitment to propagation, and the inclusive vision of enlightenment for all beings are but a few of the philosophical gems that shine through this rich tradition. In the words of Nichiren Daishonin himself, the universal enlightenment of all humankind is the ultimate principle of the Lotus Sutra. This clarion call resonates across generations, inviting individuals to embrace the transformative power of Nichiren's teachings and strive towards the realization of their innate Buddhahood.
As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, these philosophical insights offer a beacon of hope, inspiring us to cultivate inner fortitude, compassion, and an unwavering commitment to the elevation of human life. In addition to the philosophical principles already explored, Nichiren's teachings also offer profound insights into the nature of human suffering and the path towards its transcendence. Drawing upon the wisdom of the Lotus Sutra, Nichiren Daishonin elucidated the concept of Ichin and Sanzen, which encapsulates the idea that the 3,000 realms of existence are contained within a single moment of life. This concept underscores the profound potential within each individual to experience the full spectrum of existence, from the depths of suffering to the heights of enlightenment. As Nichiren Daishonin eloquently expressed, within the momentary life of a human being are contained the 3,000 realms of existence. This idea invites us to recognize the inherent profundity of human existence and to embrace the possibility of personal transformation, even in the midst of adversity. Nichiren's teachings emphasize the concept of Risho Enkoku, which translates to establishing the correct teaching for the peace of the land. This principle embodies the belief that the propagation of the Lotus Sutra's teachings is not merely a matter of personal salvation but a means to create a harmonious and just society. Nichiren Daishonin's unwavering conviction in this principle was born out of his deep concern for the well-being of both individuals and society as a whole. In his treatise, the Risho Ankoku Ran, Nichiren Daishonin boldly declared, if the ruler of a nation embraces the Lotus Sutra, that nation will be governed by the principles of truth and justice, and its people will enjoy peace and security. This vision of a society founded upon the principles of compassion, wisdom, and equality resonates profoundly in our modern era, inspiring individuals to engage in socially constructive endeavors and work towards the betterment of their communities. This principle underscores the belief that the practice of Nichiren Buddhism should not only lead to personal transformation but also contribute to the creation of lasting value for society. As Daisaku Ikeda stated, the purpose of our Buddhist practice is to create value that contributes to the happiness and prosperity of all humanity. This principle of value creation is not limited to material or economic realms but encompasses the cultivation of spiritual, intellectual, and cultural values that elevate the human condition. It invites individuals to engage in purposeful and constructive activities that enrich the lives of others and contribute to the collective well-being of society. In the words of Nichiren Daishonin, the purpose of the Buddhist teaching is to propagate the Lotus Sutra, the purpose of propagating the Lotus Sutra is to lead all people to Buddhahood, and the purpose of leading all people to Buddhahood is to create a peaceful and secure society. This profound statement encapsulates the interconnectedness of individual enlightenment, societal transformation, and the pursuit of lasting peace and security. As we delve deeper into the philosophical richness of Nichiren's teachings, we encounter a multifaceted tradition that not only offers a path towards personal transformation but also a vision for a more harmonious and just society. The emphasis on the inherent dignity of human life, the interconnectedness of existence, the power of faith and practice, the unwavering commitment to propagation, and the inclusive vision of enlightenment for all beings are woven together with insights into the nature of suffering, the pursuit of societal harmony, and the creation of enduring value. These principles, born from the wisdom of the Lotus Sutra and the profound insights of Nichiren Daishonin, continue to resonate across generations, inspiring individuals to cultivate inner fortitude, compassion, and an unwavering commitment to the elevation of human life. As we navigate the complexities of the contemporary world, Nichiren's teachings offer a beacon of hope, reminding us of our inherent potential for enlightenment and inviting us to engage in purposeful action that contributes to the collective well-being of all. The philosophical depths of Nichiren's teachings extend even further, offering profound insights into the nature of human existence and the path towards personal empowerment. One of the central concepts that permeates Nichiren's teachings is the principle of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, which is not merely a recitation but a powerful affirmation of the inherent enlightenment within all beings. As Nichiren Daishonin, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the great seed of Buddhahood, the source of all happiness and good fortune. 
This phrase, often referred to as the Dai Moku, serves as a catalyst for personal transformation, unlocking the boundless potential within each individual. By chanting this profound title of the Lotus Sutra, practitioners are invited to tap into the wellspring of their innate Buddhahood and cultivate a state of unshakable joy, wisdom, and compassion. Nichiren's teachings underscore the concept of Hanzen which refers to the sacred object of devotion that serves as a representation of the enlightened state. The Gohanzen, a calligraphic mandala inscribed by Nichiren Daishonin himself, is revered as the embodiment of the ultimate reality expounded in the Lotus Sutra. By focusing one's practice on the Gohanzen, practitioners are encouraged to align their lives with the fundamental truth of the inherent enlightenment within all beings. In his treatise, the Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, Nichiren Daishonin expressed, the Gohanzen is the highest, most venerable and profound object of devotion in the entire realm of phenomenal existence. This profound reverence for the Gohanzen is not merely a ritualistic aspect but a powerful means of accessing the limitless potential within one's own life. Nichiren's teachings emphasize the concept of Kosen Rufu, which translates to the widespread propagation of the Lotus Sutra's teachings. This principle encapsulates the belief that the dissemination of the Lotus Sutra's wisdom is not merely a personal pursuit but a collective endeavor aimed at creating a harmonious and enlightened society. As Nichiren Daishonin states, the purpose of the Buddha's appearance in this world was to propagate the Lotus Sutra, thereby leading all people to Buddhahood. This vision of a world in which all individuals can awaken to their inherent enlightenment serves as a powerful catalyst for engagement in socially constructive activities and the creation of value that contributes to the collective well-being of humanity. Additionally, Nichiren's teachings offer profound insights into the nature of human relationships and the importance of fostering a spirit of mutual respect and support. The concept of Itai Doshin, which translates to many in body, one in mind, underscores the belief that practitioners of Nichiren Buddhism should cultivate a sense of unity and harmony, transcending individual differences and working together towards a common goal. As Daisaku Akeda stated, true friendship and unity are founded on the principle of respecting and embracing diversity, while sharing a common vision and purpose. This principle of unity and diversity resonates profoundly in our increasingly interconnected world, inviting individuals to forge meaningful connections and work collaboratively towards the betterment of society. Throughout his writings, Nichiren Daishonin consistently emphasized the importance of perseverance and unwavering faith in the face of adversity. The concept of Shikishiki Sokus, which translates to, this suffering is indeed our sustenance, encapsulates the belief that challenges and hardships can serve as catalysts for personal growth and the cultivation of unshakable courage and resilience. As Nichiren Daishonin state, regard all hardships and adversities as the path to happiness and enlightenment. This perspective invites practitioners to reframe their struggles as opportunities for personal transformation, embracing difficulties as stepping stones towards a deeper understanding of the human condition and the realization of their inherent Buddhahood.